In this video, I would like to give you an overview of the calculation channels in the Catman Analysis Mode. In the calculations, all tests of the analysis project are displayed in a tree structure on the left side. The different calculation methods are clearly arranged on the right side. The formula editor allows you to freely create definable formulas. For all online calculation channels, a history of frequently used formulas is available to reuse. In the additional functions, you will find integration and differentiation as well as statistical functions like min and max of live channels. The predefined formulas contain other very interesting functions. For example, you can store noise suppression during derivation, or use a channel offset to make up for the forgotten zeroing. Frequency analysis allows you to analyze signals in the frequency domain. It is often helpful to first cut out the subrange to be analyzed from a measurement. To do this, use either the curve operations or the cutout tool in the post process graph. The filter functions offer not only different variants of moving averaging, but also low pass, high pass, band pass, and band stop filters for Bessel, Butterworth, Chebyshev, and elliptical filters. Sound pressure level filters and various human body vibration filters complement the list. Typically, several channels must be set up with the same filters. This is also very easy to do. With the calculations for strain gauge stress analysis, many necessary calculations are made available in a clear manner for the various types of strain gauge rosettes used during a test. I select the first strain channel. The other channels are completed automatically. Select the type of rosette, enter the properties of the material, and the cross sensitivities of the strain gauge, select the desired calculation channels, use a meaningful name, and create the calculations. Especially if you need partial ranges from your measurements, the curve operations allow you to cut out measurement values in the time or frequency domain very precisely. In this example, I measured the start and end value of an oscillation exactly and used the parameters for the curve section. With the data series, you can create new channels from functions, a measuring channel, the clipboard, or simple manual input. Here, I simply generate angle values from 0 to 360 degrees. Unfortunately, measurements sometimes have anomalies or invalid values that can be disruptive or lead to misinterpretations during analysis. In very large data sets, it is therefore helpful if suitable math functions can be used to automatically replace these values with the last valid value or a freely definable value. However, please handle this function very carefully so that the data is not corrupted. If in doubt, simply calculate the difference between the original channel and the result channel in order to assess the effect of your correction. The interpolation of measured values is particularly useful for converting measured values to another measuring rate, for example if the original measuring rate was too high or to normalize it. Normalization is necessary, among other things, to be able to determine the measured values at certain discrete values after calibration or to be able to mathematically compare measurements of force over displacement or torque over rotation angle with other additional measurements. With the peak values, you can form the minimum or maximum of a channel in a time interval or angle interval and thus create an envelope of the actual signal. Here's a demonstration of the calculations just made. The class counting method offers an excellent way to reduce data over a large time range by creating bins of values in certain defined or automatically sized ranges which are considered classes. For example, you can use the time at level to visualize the wind speed measurement at a wind turbine over many months in a very simple graph. Especially when it comes to material stresses, rain flow counting is a very common tool for analyzing the stresses occurring in mobile testing, but also in other applications.
The matrix calculation allows you to display the distribution of the measured values of one channel in relation to two other channels. For example, you can use it to show how the fuel consumption of an engine behaves as a function of RPM and speed. In this case, you could use RPM and speed for X and Y channels respectively and place the fuel consumption as the Z channel. With the MX471B or MX471C, you can acquire all CAN traffic on a certain bus with individual timestamps matching the hexadecimal messages recorded. We call this CAN RAW. With this math function and the DBC file, you can selectively decode the CAN signals specified in the file. Professional trainings are available at our HBK Academy for beginners and advanced. Of course, also for Catman. If you have any questions or suggestions, please do not hesitate to contact us. See you next time.